In this video, let's go ahead and learn about the big serial data type. So if you remember correctly, when we created both person and car tables, right here, the ID is actually a big serial, so big serial. And if you remember correctly, I mentioned that big serial is a special data type which auto increments a number, right? And that number is an integer. So if I open up my terminal and if I describe both person and car, you can see that the type is actually big int. So there's no such type as big serial. But the special thing about it is that right here, so on this default column, you can see that it has this next val. And the next value is managed by this person ID sequence. The same for car. So you can see right here. So the type is big int and the default value is this one right here, which is also managed by a sequence. So what I want you to do is to go ahead and select. So let's go ahead and select and then start from and then we can actually select from both sequences. So let's go ahead and say person and then underscore ID and then sec for sequence semicolon. If I clear the screen, now you can see that the last value is three. And then the log count is pretty much how many times it's been invoked. And then right here, you can see whether it's been called or not. So if I go ahead and select star from person, you can see that the last ID for this table right here is Adriana. So Adriana right here is three. So this three represents this three right here. So it's the last value. So if I now go ahead and describe person, so let's go ahead and describe person. And you can see that we have this next val. So we can actually grab this because this is simply a function. And I can go ahead and say select and then paste that in and then end out with semicolon, enter. And you can see that the next val is four. So if I clear the screen, run that again, you see that it's five, again, six, seven, so on and so forth. Now, if I go ahead and select and then start from and then person ID and then sequence, you can see that the last value is eight right here. And you can see that it represents this one right here. So this means that if I go ahead and add a new person, so if I go ahead and select start from person, you can see that Adriana has ID three. But because we invoked this function right here, so next val, right? And the next val now is eight. The next person that we insert into this table will have the ID of nine. So let's go ahead and try that. So I'm gonna go back to my SQL and then what we're gonna do is grab this and let's pretty much just change this to something else. So let's go ahead and say, uh, John, and then same surname, male, and then let's say just John, and then country, let's go ahead and say England. So I'm gonna grab that, and then you can see that right here, I'm not adding the actual ID, so this is managed by the sequence. Now I'm gonna go back to item, and then if I paste that, you can see that the insert did work, but if I now select so if I press up two times, select, and you can see that now John, so John right here, has an ID of nine. And this is how you pretty much use sequences. So sequences is simply a big int. So depending whether you use serial or big serial. So if you use serial is an integer, if you use big serial, it's a big int. So if I describe person, Right here, you can see that the type is big int, which is managed by this sequence right here. And finally, another thing that we could do with sequences is actually restart the actual value. So if I pretty much clear the screen and let me invoke this sequence right here. So this function right here. So I'm gonna call it again, it goes to 10, 11, 12, 
and then 13. If I go ahead and select star and then from person ID sequence, and you can see that the last value is 13. So if I select now star from person, let's say that we want to restart with a value of 10. So basically the next person that goes into this table should have the value of 10. And to restart a sequence, we can say alter and then sequence and then the name of the sequence. So person ID and then seek or sec for sequence. And then you can simply say restart and then with and now the actual value. So let's go ahead and say 10. If I press semicolon, you can see the command worked. If I go ahead and select from sequence, you can see that now the last value is 10, right? Or oh, actually, we could have restarted to 9, right? So if I go ahead and say 9, and 9 was the actual last value right here, so 9. So 9, enter. If I now select star from the sequence, the last value is 9. If I go ahead and invoke the function, so select next val, you can see that now it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so on and so forth. And this is all you need to know how to work with sequences. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video. See ya.